Hi everybody, it's Candy. I'm here again with some more dirty pours, but this time I'm gonna be doing them on stemless glasses. I have one that's green and one that's blue. No, I am not picking colors that are gonna match the cups. I don't care if it matches or not because it's gonna be covered in paint. This was just what they had, right? Yep, so I'm gonna show you what colors I'm using as always. I'm using Apple Barrel White. Craft Smart Bright Yellow, Apple Barrel Pink Eraser, Apple Barrel Cobalt Blue, and this color right here, I originally picked out uh, Grass Green, but I didn't like it, so I mixed Grass Green, Cobalt Blue, the Grass Green, and mint green. So mint green, cobalt blue, and grass green. It gives us this green. We can focus. This is a ratio of probably. Focus. Okay, there we go. It's more of the grass green, a few drops of the mint green, and about. Why won't it focus? Jeez, there we go. A few more drops of the blue, a few more drops in the mint green of the blue. And this is what I came up with, and I like it. So that's what I'm using. I'm gonna do two separate cups. First, I'm gonna focus on this one, then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna start off with the white paint that I have. Remember, Candy always puts a, a just the tiniest little smidgen of water in each one of her paints to get it to the consistency that she wants. Yes, I do, and I'm sorry I didn't mention that. My bad, my bad. Focus. Pink lemonade. And, and I don't know why I keep picking out Easter colors to use, but for some reason I do. Alrighty. I am going to give that one little quick. Say anything. Say what you said. I said nothing. <laughs> you guys, we're gonna fight after we finish. <laughs> and I just start pouring. <laughs> Wonderful thing about this one is I don't have to worry about. Where's that yellow finally starting to come out soon? Whoa. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get under the elbow, show the other side. And you there. You see all this crazy variation. You would never even know that the yellow in here. But I like it. Kind of So pretty. folks, uh, um if there's a color you put in that cup that you want to see, then I would advise not using the stick like she did. Just, you know, what I mean, just just pour as it is and see if it comes out that way. I'm thinking maybe that could be why the the yellow yeah, didn't really come out? Probably, but the next one I'll pour it like that, so. Maybe the yellow and the blue made a shade of green or something like that? Yeah. Let's see if I get a little bit of this yellow going in here. 
Hmm. She wanted to see the color. She said, I'm going to put the color. Why not? Problem ain't nothing you can't solve, right, babe? Hey. You got to have fun with it. And all I'm doing right now is I'm going in, if you can see the swirl that's inside the cup. I'm just going in, wrapping some of that up, and just dropping it down a little bit. Because I don't want the full yellow to just show up, but just like a, oh, that's awesome. All right, let me see if I can get around there to show you what the, whatever it is that she just saw. Um, no, 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 I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very, very cool. Let's come back and use that yellow as a little highlight here and there, huh? Cool. Very. I really like the side that I'm looking at right now. It looks like something completely different is happening over here. And it's still dropping, so. Yeah, gravity is still doing what it's doing, so the finished product will look a little different than this even, right? Most likely. See those yellow drops that she put on this side, guys, getting all long and everything? But this is what I'm going to show you that I really like. If you can see right in here, oh, how that's breaking apart in there. Yeah, I didn't see that before. That's nice. That's gorgeous. That's very nice. So that's this one. I'm gonna put this cup aside over there. And I'm going to turn my tray this way. And get the next patient, right? Yep, and here we go with this one. So I've got another empty cup here, and I think maybe I'm going to start with the blue. And then I think I'm going to go into some pink. And some white. Teal, the weird green that I made, and then I'm going to add some yellow. And this time I'm not going to stir it up. And let's see if we see the yellow come out some more. And here we go. Look like it for a second, it looked like watermelon. Here comes your blue. The colors literally changed like right in front of your eyes, man. Wow, let's see what's going on over here. When that stuff starts dripping down, that's going to look really cool coming through. And the thing I love about doing the um, the stemless is you don't have to worry about it going all the way down to the bottom because it will go. It'll make it. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this one. I'm really digging this one though. 
time will tell. Be patient. I like that one. I think that one is beautiful too. See, that's the one, that's what's so crazy about this, right? Same exact colors, man. Same exact colors, just slight little different, diff, diff, slightly different method of pouring it on there. You know, one sheet kind of swirled it a little bit with the stick. Some, looks some, uh, looks completely different. Almost looks like, you know, like the, the, like white is the base and then you come over here to this one she didn't do it do any mixing and over here it's just like whoo. yeah I, I, there's a lot a really lot of beautiful color things going on with that second cup right there man wow i mean wow it's making me i still have paint left and it's making me want to report and i think i am well, it's the artist's choice you are you are the artist but I think that you should leave both of them alone. I know, but I'm gonna report on this one. I don't always listen. <laughs> Sometimes I can be a hard head. I think this is one of those times. Try not. Just so y'all, you know, I'm the conservative one. I'm the one that's always like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But this. she's always like, I'm gonna do it anyway. And then I'm always like, wow, you. Good thing you didn't listen to me. So, we'll see. And that's why I don't listen. What we got going on right here so far? Same colors. Same colors. I'm just doing yeah. them in a different order, and I'm not gonna mix them up. I'm just gonna pour them over. This one right here is doing so many pretty things. All right, we're gonna give this one over here another another go round. And if it doesn't come out the way I want it after this one, guess what I can do? I wish you would leave that cup right there, but. I, I know you do, but um, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too white. It's too white. I wanna be a little different. I don't like that. I don't like being different. So we'll say goodbye. And by the way, finish off your statement before what you were saying. And if I don't like the way it comes out, worst thing, I can always wash it off. Wash it off. Did you hear that guy? She can wash it right off. Start right back from ground zero. Dang. Yeah, I like it. You wiped out all that weight and it's like you're bringing the weight back. No, but I like the way I brought it back this time okay. as compared to last time. Nope, no, no, that was this one. That's ill over here. Wow. Yeah, that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, alright. It's not so bad, right? No. No. But I would have loved to have been able to preserve that randomness. Because all of these, I'm telling you, man, it, it doesn't matter what you do, they're all going to be random. And that's the to me, that's the beauty of it, the randomness. Yeah. All right, so she'll just leave these. Well, no, not. Oops. Sure. Right. Still making some touch up, so obviously, as you guys can see, if you know, as you're sitting there and you're watching it develop, you know, you want to see a little bit more of some color, you want to see some more variation, you can do the same thing she's doing right now. And right now, we're just messing around. 
I just want to see what I can do with whatever paint is left in here. It sometimes it swirls around and to me, you drop it in the right places, it looks pretty. I just want you guys to know that less is more. Oh, I'm always extra. Less so. is more, but she keeps adding more paint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little extra with it. So once again, just in case they never heard you with any of these dirty pores before, you'll let this paint, you will let all of this sit and dry for about three days. Two to three days. Two to three days. Before. Um, usually the, I'm sorry, usually no, the stemless will dry in a couple of days. Um, it's the, the stemmed wine glasses that take the longer time. That area that's on the top underneath the base, right there, that area when you flip it over mm -hmm. and you pour the paint up it there. It makes a pool. Yeah, it makes a big, heavy pool and it'll just sit there. So that usually takes about, that's like the third day going. But these about a couple of days. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do a quick turn around. Absolutely beautiful. This is what we created today. And I think they're gorgeous. Me too. So, that's it. Give it a try. Let me see. I would love to see. I love to see what anybody comes up with when they do the dirty pours. Because everybody's is different. Nobody's is ever going to be the same. It doesn't matter if you use the same colors. You can try to layer them into the cup the same exact way you did for another cup, and it's not going to turn out the same no matter what you do. All right, so uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.